Hi there, I'm Brian Sanders. I'm the Dean of the Science, Math, and Engineering Division, and I want to introduce you to our new Science Community Center. This is a fantastic facility that's been funded through the Measure E-Bond. The support of our community is absolutely fantastic. The support that's been de demonstrated by, uh, by our community in, in providing for these funds, and then to see uh, the future of science education as it's appeared uh, behind us. I wanted to take a couple minutes to introduce you to some features of the building. So if we start here in the facility with maybe the front part that jumps out at you is the planetarium. And this facility has been decades in the making. Dr. Lubke was hired in the 1970s to lead a planetarium effort and it uh, never materialized until now. It's got a state-of-the-art um, planetarium projection system that's coming in. It's got the star projector and it's got this grand new um, projection system, almost like an IMAX inside of there. This is going to be the first institution in the world that has the uh, particular uh, star projector and this new uh, uh, kind of the IMAX style projection system working together. So we're going to be the destination for uh, for astronomy buffs. So you can see there's a sort of a tubular um, tower through the middle of the building and it is actually a spiral staircase. Um, the spiral staircase isn't just a spiral staircase which is cool in itself but it's actually a model of uh, DNA. It's a double helix in there. The bottom floor of this building is uh, the new home of the Great Valley Museum. And the GVM was started in the 1970s by a, a joint effort of the district and faculty members in the biology department. And it has grown, it has you know, established itself as a presence in our community, educating thousands of young people every year. Uh, that's all, that whole operation is moving here to the ground floor. And you think, wow, we're looking at a three-story building, but you're really not, it's actually a four-story building. Uh, the top floor of this building is integral to what we're doing, but on the far side uh, is the observatory tower. Now at the base of the observatory tower is uh, a Foucault pendulum that's been purchased and funded by the Associated Students of Modesto Junior College. And we're really excited that they've joined with us in this project and that they're going to be a part of that. Uh, rising up to the, the fourth floor is the dome itself, which you'll see very prominently on the other side. Again, every aspect of the building is is a teaching tool. Um, at the base of the planetarium out front, you'll see there's a water feature. The water feature, though, isn't just water for prettiness. It includes jets, and the jets come up, and the, the shape of the jet, attracted back to the Earth by gravity, is actually a parabolic path, which is a concept we study in math and in science. On the face of the building here, you're going to see really one of the neatest partnerships that you can imagine between the science division of the college and the art division as well. Uh, in the squares that you see on the side of the building, there's five, six foot um, panels, metal panels that are being engraved with constellations. And the artwork for those constellations has been uh, created by our own Professor Richard Saros in the art department. So we got metal pictures of the, the constellations, but not only that, they're getting drilled through with LEDs coming out. And the LEDs are gonna show in various colors and intensities, the constellations themselves. I hope you'll all join us uh, for our grand opening and we are planning a, a community event for that and you're all invited. And we're gonna have ongoing great events here at this uh, facility and we hope that you'll be a part of it. Thanks for your support again as members of the community of Modesto and of Stanislaus County and of our YCCD service area.